Hello you guys, welcome to this video. So we are going to do a little bit of like a plant shop tour around Japan. So right now we're in Kyoto. Um, and then we're also gonna go to Tokyo later. And I'm actually going to the plant shops in Kyoto alone because Chris was gonna come with me and help me film, but he's not really feeling that well. Like he's feeling pretty sick right now. So yeah, going alone, gonna be filming alone. And this will be fun. Our first stop is This Is Shizen. They do a lot at the store. So they sell plants, ceramics, and other artworks here. It almost feels a little bit like a gallery space or an exhibit for plants. You'll see it later, but they have this massive sculpture in the middle of the store. I like the use of stainless steel in the space. The coolness and sterility of it balances out the organic nature of the plants. So these two unexpected materials blend together really well and prevent the store from feeling dirty. And that's important because this place is also a cafe and ice cream shop. They do it all. <laughs> they specialize in this thing called ice bouquets and they look really pretty. I didn't try one myself, but pretty much everyone in the store got one. This store focuses on selling plant displays rather than just selling plants in nursery pots. Um, there are a lot of kokidamas, bonsai plants, unique displays. The Schifflera, for example is beautiful and it looks like it had bonsai techniques applied to it. There are handmade pots by ceramicists. The person working the counter actually made a lot of these pots here. So moss is frequently used. They even have a little pot with just moss. I wish I could have moss out in open air like this, but it's difficult to maintain in California. So like this pot, it's 3,000 yen, which is about like $20. I love kokidamas and like live moss balls like this, but they just don't really do that well in Los Angeles. It just dries out like way too fast. But you know, Japan is really humid, so they're able to kind of do this easier. See, they have so many ferns and the ferns just grow wild outside too, so it's really easy to grow ferns here as well. And look at this giant shiny black structure. I have no idea what that is. Big money tree, big fern. I really like this kokedama with a brachy chitin. This is my first time seeing an Everfresh tree in person. I love this plant. And it's like it's a kokedama Everfresh tree. And they have it on top of this rock. That's pretty cool. It's honestly really cool. <laughs> I should make more kokedamas. It's just, it's hard to keep them alive in the dry climate. That's good inspo. But like these big tubes are pretty cool that they're using for like as pedestals and then more rocks let's talk about the sponsor of this video marlo i got my marlo pillows back at the beginning of may so i've slept with them for around three months this pillow is pretty unique because of its adjustable design so you can zip it up for a firmer pillow or you can unzip it to add plushness i prefer a plusher pillow for sleep so I'll usually leave mine unzipped on both sides, but if I wanna use it as a backrest to do work or like be on my laptop or read a book while I'm on my bed, I'll zip up both sides so it's a little bit firmer. Now that we're in the summer months, it's getting hot in my bedroom since we're upstairs. So the Marlow pillow comes in handy because it has this mesh on the sides and cooling infused foam that helps keep the pillow cool. It can sometimes be stressful or difficult to buy a new pillow because you need to sleep with it for a few days or a few weeks to see if it's really the right fit for you. Marlow, however, offers a 365 day free return policy if the pillow just isn't a right fit for you. They also have a deal where if you buy two pillows, you save 20% and if you buy four pillows, you save 30%. Click the link below to get your Marlowe pillow and once again thank you to Marlowe for sponsoring this video. The next store is No Durium. I think it's owned by a furniture store called Actus that is connected to the plant shop um, and you'll see it later. So the ceilings of this place are huge and they have skylights everywhere. As you can tell it's a very modern building and it feels pretty fancy. They have a lot of bent ficus at the store and if you know me then you know I'm a big fan of them but Sadly, I can't take them home with me. Oh, I love this area. Look at how fancy these staghorns look. The way they're mounted, it looks so clean. That's nice. Wow, look at that Ripsalis. Just giving some commentary while I walk around. Look at this little ficus that's bent. 
And then I think it's also somewhat of a furniture store. So there's furniture for sale here. Um, oh, wow, look at these troughs. Like these planter troughs look pretty nice. Right here is definitely a mid-century modern aesthetic. This is actually the magazine that I have that I used to find this place, which is pretty cool. It's beautiful here, jeez. Oh my god, look at this. What is that? This bent Everfresh tree, so nice. Variegated money tree. You guys, the stuff that they have here is so much cooler than in the US. <laughs> Let's take a look at these. These are outdoor plants. Wow, these displays. Can I open it? I don't know if I can go out there. But look at these. Look at that rock display. That's so cool. Wow. This place is nice. That's about mm, like $14. I think it comes with the saucer too. This is a nice philodendron. Don't know what it is though. Wow. And Xanadu is nice. Philodendron tordum. Ooh, look at that Shaflera. Or is it Tubidanthus? Maybe. Like is Audrey, Rafus Palm, another Everfresh tree. I really want one of those. Oh wow, this place is cool up here. Okay, okay, so these aren't live plants, but they're still pretty cool. Wow, these plants, oh my god, I'm jealous. They're just so unique. It's just not like a typical nursery, you know? What is this? That's cool. Wow. Okay, and then this part is the furniture store. I'm pretty sure. A lot of mid-century stuff here. Mid-century style, at least, like Louis Poulsen lights. That's it for plant stores in Kyoto, now we're headed to Tokyo. And this time I'm going with Jahao to visit the plant stores. Our first stop is ADA Lab. If you're in the aquarium hobby, you've probably heard of ADA. For those of you who don't know, they're like the luxury brand of aquariums. They have amazing products, the design, the materials, the functionality, the aesthetics, it's all top tier. And as you can tell, I'm kind of an ADA fanboy. Um, and in the past couple of years, they've really branched outside of aquariums and moved into terrariums, riparians, and houseplants. So even if you're not into aquariums, this is still going to be a cool store for you. You guys look at how nice this is. Now look at this tank. It's kind of like mine, except theirs is a lot nicer. And this is the same fern we got. It yeah. shoot out of the water. Simple bite is fern. Yeah, wow, their tanks are so clear. Look, is this, this a philodendron? Is a, this is a level. I think it's a philodendron. It looks like a philodendron. Philodendron coming out. Wow, that looks good. If you yeah. the water in the mouth. It comes and down. So I know, maybe like I should get something like that. These are so expensive, though. I know. They're cool, but so this expensive. Kind of moss was crazy. Yeah. Look at these, look at these roots going in. <clears throat> Did they braid it? No, no, it's natural. Maybe natural. natural. Wow, this one's nice. This is called aquarium. Uh, whatever we had is just a water tank. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm gonna work on my aquariums more. Wow, look at this one. I love this plant. Does anyone know what plant this is? It's like their showroom, kind of. This is like a super cool thing going on here, like a little island. Their water is crystal clear. These are nice spray bottles. This would be so nice for a terrarium. What's that for? I don't know. What... This is like gold. No, it's not gold. I don't oh, know wait. what it is. Is it fertilizer? So, some exchange resin. But oh, that's a nice spray bottle. Well, what is it for? Oh, wait. I'm supposed to expose this to you. 
Oh, it's soft the water. Oh. Yeah, let me see. Tiny terrariums. Oh, wow. This one's cool. A little one. This little. That little thing's cool. Calcium and magnesium dissolving water with action of cation exchange resin. So if you add water in, in here. They probably have someone here that cleans it all the time. Yeah. If you don't clean it, it's probably like this. Yeah. The water's too. <laughs> yeah. That's what mine okay, looks yeah, like. There you go. That's what they use. Maybe they use this to spray the toilet. So it's not like. Yeah. <clears throat> we should get that. Yeah. <laughs> So those spray bottles with the little beads in them, they remove minerals and stuff from the water, but they can only treat up to 50 liters of water. And I don't really know where I would get those beads again. So I don't know if it's like super sustainable for me, but it would be really nice if you just have like a tiny terrarium. I actually, maybe I'll get that. <laughs> maybe I'll get one. So this is a nice rock. Just... There's this whole area. <laughs> Good thing we didn't bring anyone else. Oh, They'd be like, oh, <laughs> Wow, look at this area. They have all of these um, tissue culture plants, I think. I know. I don't know. It looks cool. If I have a lab, I don't get these lights. I know, those, those lights are not too bright. Oh, it does look like a lab. It's cool. I wonder where they get these. Do you think they made them? It's like acrylic. This, I think they're just customized. Custom, yeah. Wow, look at these. Their stack of friends look so. Those small ones look so clean. Wow, it's so nice. And this is also very soft. <laughs> <laughs> In the back. You, oh yeah, you, I think I said that to you. I was like, yeah. I want to, I want to yeah. buy that. This one white thing, and that's like a more like blue Whoa, these are, edge. Look at that. That's a tree. It's like a tree fern, but mm, small. Mini tree fern. Oh, they have names here. Oh wow, that's a price. That's a hundred. That's probably that one. Yeah. What is it? That's a set of like, genera. Set, yeah, so the genera bronze genera leaf. Seventy-seven. I'm gonna look this one up. So I think that's the name. Maybe because it's the most expensive and it looks like it's expensive. This place is so nice. <laughs> it's so cool. I like the lab, the lab aesthetic. I mean, it is called like ADA lab, I think. So that makes sense. Wow, this aquarium. Ugh, I need to redo my aquariums. So cute. And that the blue makes the green greener. Mm -hmm. Like the light green. Looks good. Wow. Oh, wow, look at this. You guys, I'm just like. Oh. <laughs> Look at all this. <laughs> There's so much stuff. That's crazy. Wow. They're just, they're Look so at these kokedamas. So pretty. And so this, clean. And so clean. I guess it's also because the temperature outside and inside doesn't you know, mm. not change a lot. So there's mm -hmm. no... The condensation oh, yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> wow, look. Moss bag. <gasps> I'm so jealous. We don't have anything like this. This you can take back. You know, this is my power drink. <laughs> <laughs> you hold, green you hold it in your mouth? Yeah, this is my green juice. <laughs> Put a little, it's a little rice fish in there. What? It's not floating, it's on a... Do you see this little oh, thing yeah, right there? I see. It's on a hook. Yeah, it's on a little hook. I used to make these. They're like aquatic uh, cookie damas, but I just... Yeah. I should make them again. They're pretty cool. But is it hard to... Not really. It's... It's just like really It's bad. a little tough, but mm -hmm. once you start making them a lot, you know what mm -hmm. you're doing. Maybe I'll make some and you can sell oh, them at your shop. Yeah, some of the arrow. Mm. Not that important here. Yeah. I like the cocoa bark though. Mm -hmm. the Only cocoa bark? Oh, and perlite? A two uh, months? I really like this uh, <gasps> mini tree fern yeah, thing. Mini tree is so like Jurassic Park. Oh, look at this one. This is the sand, like succulent. Desert. Yeah. Succulent terrarium. But house is so big, you need a fridge. <laughs> I know, I need a fridge for it. Tissue, tissue culture. Tissue culture, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's cool. This yeah. is like a, it's really like a lab with all the, what is that? The, f the flaps, the uh, curtains or okay. whatever? That really like a lab. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at these. Do you know how 
and I are buying stuff. <laughs> I think this is going to be so useful, actually. Um, and I bought some other packs, so I'm thinking of just using this for like my terrariums and stuff when I want soft water. The next store is Garage Tokyo. Out of all of the stores I've been to, this one has the most big box store feel. They just sell a lot of different things and don't seem to specialize in a specific style. I would describe it kind of as like a world market, but upgraded by a lot and with a bunch of plants. They had Adele on really loud in the background, so I'm doing a voiceover for this whole thing. There was this giant mature pothos wrapped around a pole that looked really cool, but it was about $1,400. I really liked the clothes they had, but it was expensive. Everything they had was over $100. However, I do expect that from a store like this because you're buying into their aesthetic. The store felt like a lifestyle store because you could buy clothes, home goods, and plants. They have a lot of plants and a lot of variety in terms of genera and maturity of plants. Something that Japan does really well is succulents, cactus, and codex. It gives me a better appreciation for these kinds of plants because in California, desert-like plants are common and tropical plants are exotic. But a lot of Asian countries are humid and wet, so leafy green foliage might not be as unique to them as a geometric shaped drought tolerant plant. But yeah, by saying this kind of has like a big box store feel, that's not anything bad. It's just really large and they have a lot of product on hand. This shop also does plant design consultations. While I was there, there was this couple um, at a table with blueprints of their house and um, there was someone helping them with the layout of the plants and it was pretty cool to witness. The next shop we're going to is called Toki. I really wanted to go to this one because they have unique handmade ceramics and I'm looking to bring some plant pots home with me. As I said earlier, Japan does desert plants really well and Toki is a good example. The plants just look so clean and structured in these type of arrangements with plant pots chosen specifically for the color and shape of the plant. I like this air plant. Oh, this one's the fragrant one. The one mm. I had, I just got. Oh, these little ones. This one has no cute pop. Yeah. <laughs> these ones are really cool. The displays and stuff. Oh, they have, you know, yeah. These are nice. So this one is 11,000 altogether. So that's like, so this is like a hundred dollars or a little bit less. Ooh, I really like this one. This one looks cool. These ceramics are nice, Joe. It's like a dark black clay. Mm -hmm. I love, do you think you're gonna get anything? Yeah, I'm definitely getting <laughs> something. <laughs> Look at this, so many cool pots. Yeah. Alice. Oh, look at these. They're ceramic um, plants. Oh, I have these. They're Hasami porcelain. All these other pots over here. I like this. Yeah, that's a burn that I use in Shanghai. But it's mm, like basket burn, I think. Oh, it's called basket burn? Mm -hmm. Some more really nice pots. Our next stop is Vandaka Plants. I've talked about them a lot on my channel before. They specialize in staghorn ferns, and I believe that they have multiple locations. I know they have one in Kyoto. This shop is a smaller studio space, and it's like a gallery for staghorn ferns that they sell. They told me that they were low on stock today, and normally the wall is more filled in. My favorite part of the store was this Platycerium madagascariens in a paludarium. So here is Vandaka Plants to all of their Platycerium. Um, I think normally they have more, but right now they don't have that many. Isn't this cool? It's cool how the how they pin their Platycerium up. Maybe I need to do that. They have a lot of really cool varieties. A lot of like interesting hybrids and stuff. It's pretty small, but it's cool. It's like a little studio space. Kind of like the white color for the Platycerium. 
These next shops aren't plant shops, they are homeware shops. But if you liked the other shops in this video, then I think you'll enjoy these. This one is called Proto, and the space is beautifully arranged. They feature a lot of different artisans, so there's glassware, ceramics, and jewelry. Um, even if you don't buy anything, I think the atmosphere alone is worth the visit. And this next shop is called Suro, and they have a lot of variety of home goods and furniture. Similar to Proto, the atmosphere is so relaxing, and they even gave us tea when we first entered. I'm curious to know what inspiration you guys took away from these shops, and maybe what plants are you going to get next? or what project are you going to start working on because I know that I am going to bring a lot of ideas home with me. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.